Just steps from the scene of the deadly Dollar General store shooting in Jacksonville, hundreds gathered Sunday to honor the victims and voice their outrage. Among the three people killed was Gerald Galleon, who was shot as he entered the store. He leaves behind a four-year-old daughter. How do you even begin to explain to her what happened? We haven't. You haven't? She doesn't know yet. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're trying to figure out the words to tell her because she was a daddy's girl. He was a loving guy. A loving a loving guy. He was a devoted fa father. He'd devoted do anything for his daughter. And for him to get up and wake up and his life get ended, it's not fair. Surveillance video captured 21-year-old Ryan Christopher Palmitter walking up to the store just after 1 p.m. Saturday and taking aim at his first victim in the parking lot. Authorities say he wore a face covering, latex gloves, and a bulletproof vest under his shirt. He was also armed with two firearms, including an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle covered with swastikas. When you see him walk out on the sidewalk and he points that gun at that car, he fired 11 rounds at that car. He did not give any warning. He just did it. Authorities say during the shooting, the gunman, who lived with his parents, texted his father and told him to break into his bedroom. There, his father found a suicide note, a will, and writings Jacksonville Sheriff T.K. Waters described as racist. 